Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion and today's Masterclass. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas wherever you are in the world. It's the 29th of December and today we are taking a look at scrapbooking. My name's George Aiken and as always, it is an absolute pleasure to be with you. Uh, we've got loads happening for you today here on Crafters TV. Now, just to let you know that this is a pre-record. This show is pre-recorded, so all our times and stock levels are correct at the time of record. Now today we are taking a closer look at scrapbooking. For the next 60 minutes we're going to take a deeper look at the wonderful world of scrapbooking and dimensionals and we need a craft expert to get us through that. So let's say hello to the wonderful Michelle. Hello Michelle. Hello, good morning. How, How are, are you? you? Oh. <laughs> How are you? Very good. You know, I'm very good. It's Christmas. I've still got uh, Christmas food, Christmas sandwiches and everything like that. Uh, so it's very good. Now scrapbooking I'm guessing is one of your favourite things to do. I do enjoy I do enjoy a bit of scrapbooking, a bit of I like my album making, so we've got those um, bits on for you today. So I do enjoy that. Perfect. Now don't forget as well, we've got loads happening uh, throughout the website. Head to the website crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Head there, and you can also check out our winter sales. Some great deals and some great bargains to have as well. But today's masterclass is taking a look at the wonderful world of scrapbooking. It's a masterclass and it's gonna allow you, whether you are an experienced crafter or someone who's brand new, to reopen that world of scrapbooking. Maybe you've not looked at it for many years. Well, today is the day to have a look. Sit back, relax, have a glass of eggnog, whatever your Christmas beverage may be, as we take a closer look at scrapbooking. In fact, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the album spine dimensional die. Now, there's three elements within this here, in those different sizes within our wonderful world of scrapbooking. Now, loads of people get involved with scrapbooking and they absolutely love it. We have got here the album spine dimensional die. There's three different elements. Now, they've got the different sizes. You've got the six inch, which you can see just here at the bottom. You have also got the eight inch and you've also got the 10 inch as well. But we've got the six and the eight here and it's all different album spine here. Let's take a closer look at our wonderful different designs that we've got. Because guys, you can create some amazing different things. Imagine all those wonderful memories that you can have within your Christmas, making your scrapbooks. Guys, they are just so good and so personal. I mean, perfect for great little uh, Christmas gifts. I know Christmas is just gone, but look at what you can create here. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and going, wow, George, this looks really complicated and really difficult. But I promise you, this is not gonna be at all because we are giving you everything here to make this as well. You're not gonna be left out alone. Look at all these little favors. Imagine if someone's big days, weddings are coming up in the new year, and a lot have been canceled and postponed. It's gonna be a great year for memories in 2022. Guys, this is brilliant. So you wanna be looking at the tab page and purse card dimensions, 11 different elements there. And you can see it here, look at what you can be making. Different little pages, different little pullouts, and you can make this here. Imagine someone's big day being measured in one of these little scrapbooks. They are perfect. £20.99, $27.96. Now, you're saving yourself 30% on that. You've also got the wonderful eight inch as well. Again, a great collection, a great design. An eight inch album spine, this dimensional dice. You're getting everything within the kit to help you create something like this. So let's take a look at the eight inch. That's a 10 inch, it's how big they can. Now that's the 10 inch, that is the eight inch. Look at the size difference that you're getting. Let's take a look at the eight inch here that you see. It's again, another great little collection and so much can be done with this. Little ribbons and added. I mean, this is where you can really let your creativity fly. All the different little tabs, the waterfall features that you see here. Again, pull those and they are pulling out. And I know you, what you may think, if you're not used to scrapbooking, you look at this going, I can't do that. I promise you, you're gonna get the kit. It's what we do, what we do within our crafting, uh, crafters company is give you all the tools to be the best crafters. And everything you're seeing there to create that comes within the kit. No, no they don't, sorry. Producer Aaron's going, no they don't, no they don't. Right, that's just for the spine. You can buy the, adapt, uh, the sections after as well to create something like that. So you can buy the spine and then buy the additional items as well to create something brilliant. Let's have a look at the 10 inch spine as well. Guys, the size that you can make these are brilliant, they're huge. I mean, imagine receiving this, you have someone's special day and then you've made this for them. You can see Sarah here with Simon. Again, it's gonna be brilliant. There's so much you can do with it. And you, this is just for the spine that you're paying the price here. So you create the basic here. I mean, they are brilliant little kits. So I tell you what, if you're looking at this and thinking, I don't know where to even start with this. Michelle, these are brilliant kits, aren't they? And something that's gonna be different every single time, isn't it? 
Oh, they absolutely are. So they absolutely are. Um, so we're going to start at the beginning, right back to making your actual cover. But depending on what size you're going for, so we've got the, um, the original, the smaller one, then we've got an 8-inch spine, and then we've got the daddy 10-inch. Um, and don't be scared. You can absolutely put anything into and onto your pages in these. So um, we'll start from the beginning, and I'll show you how to make your spine and your actual outside of your album. So I've got my 8-inch um, album spine here. So I'm just going to take that out and you can, and, and straight away you think, ooh, but no, it's not as scary or as hard as it looks. So we're just going to remove that off there. And then I've got, I've just picked a couple of my, um, so we've got our blush and blue pearl and our rainbow pearl. So these are a 300 GSM, which are perfect, a perfect weight for this. So for my spine, I'm going to go with this one. So rainbow pearl, I'm just going to pick out that beautiful colour just there, move my pads to the side and obviously this isn't going to, it's a 12 by 12 so that's not going to go through um, my normal Gemini that I've got at the minute so we're just going to just cut this down so I'm just going to place that on there to roughly measure to make sure I've got enough room and then I'll remove that and we'll cut that off so bring our plates in and for these our usual plate combination so clear plate on the outside yep and then we've got oh, let me just have to cut that just a little bit tiny little bit too wide for my plate i'll not do the scissors we we want a straight edge you need a straight edge <laughs> hey, well, this is one of the projects this. isn't it this is not a project which is going to be rushed this is going to be a project which takes a bit of time it you're does. going to spend a few days on this maybe weeks getting this oh, right yes well i made one for my brother-in-law when he got married a few years ago, and yeah. it did. I was working on it for about three or four days, all the elements that go on to your different pages. Um, but it's worth the, it's worth the time, because when Absolutely. they're finished, amazing. So clear plate, card, um, my die, and then we've got plastic and magnetic shim, and then that top plate, and we'll run that through. Perfect. I love the demo. If you missed it the other day, check back on our uh, wonderful YouTube page. Myself and Michelle, a few days ago, were all about the Gemini Pro. So if you want to learn how all about how to use the Geminis, watch the show back with myself and Michelle. And me and Debbie were here yesterday, and we were talking about we were talking about our wonderful Ultimate Pro. It is brilliant. We were, I love the Ultimate Pro. It is the best piece of equipment ever. Uh, Michelle, I'm guessing you've got an Ultimate Pro as well, haven't you? I do. And it is, that's another, that's another one of our pieces of equipment that's definitely a game changer. So you definitely need one of those as Absolutely. well. <laughs> so as you can see, cut out beautifully, so we'll just move that to the side for now. So as you can see, you've got all these score lines in there. Some of them, I don't know if you can see, have got X's. So yep. they're the ones that are going to be um, glued together. Right. So, can we pick that up? Well, there they are. X marks the spot. Absolutely. There we go. There we are. Perfect. So, those ones are what will be um, glued together to create your little spines um, yeah. for your pages to sit on. So, what we're going to do with this is we're going to start just bending and scarring everything. So, it doesn't matter which ones you start with for now. Just get them all nicely burnished. And if you're watching this and thinking, I, I, I'm a bit confused, I, I'm a bit lost here, how do I do this? Guys, don't forget this show will be on YouTube for many years to come. There's loads of shows about scrapbooking as well. So come and take a look back. Once you've got your equipment and once you've got the right dies, come back and watch this and see how to do it. Take your time, you can pause us and come back and watch every little step in detail so you can get the best out <laughs> of it. Because it can be complicated, it can be a little bit tricky to start with, but a bit of patience and a bit of practice. And like we always say, when you get something, a brand new skill like scrapbooking, Booking, it's best just to sit there, have a play with it, and yes. see what you can create until you spend loads of time and effort on a bit of white card. That's it's going it. to be perfect. That's it. Just have a, um, if you're not really sure how something works, if you've just got a scrap piece of um, paper or card, yeah. you know, we've all got them, we, we've ruined something, so we've sort of thrown it to the side. So we've all got those little scrap bits and bobs hanging about everywhere. So just grab one of those, just die cut it out. And then just have a look and a figure out a, a fold if there's um, fold lines on there. And then you start sometimes just by folding them all up and you're like, oh, that's how it works. Yeah, because so, yeah. sometimes you look at the die and you go, 
oh, I, I don't get it. I don't get how no. this works. But actually, when you get it out there and you have a little play with it, you can see, oh, actually, this makes a little bit more sense That's now. That's it, yeah. yeah. That's it. So just scarring all my um, burnish lines or burnishing all my scar lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, there is different sizes. We're looking here at the eight inch album spine. It's a great size. It's a great in the middle. We've also got the six inch and the 10 inch. We'll take a closer look at the different spines that are available. Remember, this is a pre-recorded show and all the prices and the stocks are correct at the time. But it's a great saving. You're saving yourself 30% on this today uh, on this usual price, $27.99, $32.16. And remember, Clue Inspire, if you're a Platinum member, you're going to get that extra 20% off. If you're brand new to us here at Crafters TV, well, welcome. It's great to have you. Remember, on your first purchase, once you've made an account, you're going to get 20% off your order. So you'll be paying that Platinum price anyway. Plus, you'll get 250 bonus points, which makes you a bronze member. And that automatically means, until the next purchases, you're going to get 5% off. I mean... We just give it away here, don't we? We're just giving away <laughs> discounts. Do. And then you can work your way through the ranks to get yourself all the way through. Now, I see you using red liner tape. I oh, am. what is the best kind of glue or adhesive to use when scrapbooking? For these, for making your spine, because once this is made and you're going to be opening and closing your pages, you want it a really strong grab on it. Yeah. So I've brought in my red liner tape, and this is our 12 mil. And it is perfect for those. Yeah. So if you can see, if I hold it that way, those are the two pieces that yeah. are going to go together and that will fold out. Perfect. So this is where I need to lay yeah. all of my red liner tape. Perfect. You can see there across the bottom of your screen, it's priced at $3.99, $7.95. That's for the 12 millimetre. That's what our wonderful De uh, Michelle, sorry, not Debbie. Ooh, <laughs> it's the red hair, right? <laughs> Debbie used to have red hair. And, and I keep looking over and I just see the head. Um, our wonderful Michelle. <laughs> uh, it's 12 millimetres. There is other sizes available. I think we've got three millimetre as well. Is that right? Yeah, we've got a three and a six. A three and a six, see? Uh, so you, depending on what you need, guys, but that incredible price, it's well worth that investment. The uh, three millimetre is $2.49. Uh, uh, Pound, I can't do maths. Two pounds forty nine, four dollars ninety five, and the six millimeter is two pounds seventy nine, five dollars ninety five. Liam is on it today. Look at that big old graphic. Have that. There you go. He's loving it. Uh, so, guys, always worth it. Stocking, little stocking fillers. Treat yourself. I know you've all got a bit of money left over. Everyone's got a little bit of money at Christmas, haven't they? Always. I get money now. I've got to that age. Yeah. Where I get, I've got to that age where I get a Lynx body set or Axe body set in the states, <laughs> and I get money and socks and pants. And that is. Um, <laughs> and when I mean pants, I mean briefs. So that's what that's what I get. I just, I've got that age now in my life. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Yeah. So you put your red liner tape there. So Perfect. right, I've put my red liner tape there. So what you'll see is there is. A flat scar bit there. Yep. And then those two pieces are going to. So make sure you've given everything a nice, um, good burnish with your scarring yep. tool. So we're just going to fold that together and burnish it. Perfect. And then when you fold it back out, you can see it's glued together. Ah, oh, sweet. So we're going to do that on the next one. So just fold it over and give it a good, good burnish. And then we've got two. Brilliant. And it's just repeating itself. And, and again, yeah. this is, you're gonna do this, in a, it's a, a process which, like you said, is just gonna take a bit of time and an effort and a bit of practice. Yeah. Um, and using that strong construction tape, you're gonna get something which is sturdy and reliable and yes. lasts a long time. That's it, because if you're gonna be using it as an album, as a memory book, it's gonna have memories in there. Yeah. I know that sounds daft, because we all know that anyway, but. So people are going to be looking through these albums again and again, and you don't want um, your pages to be falling no. out and things like that. So this last piece can be a little bit tricky. You just don't want to stick the wrong bits, just because it seems to it sort of all folds in on itself a yeah, little absolutely. bit. Yeah, absolutely. But just give that another burnish, and there we have our spine. So let me just give that a fold there. So there you can see. So that will be the outside. Brilliant. And this is the, gonna be the inside. So give it, make sure you fold, you know, give them a good burnishing both ways, because obviously they're gonna be your pages of the, but your book, so they're gonna be going both ways. So now you have some options. So what I've done is I've brought in two pieces of, let me just get rid of my rubbish. Um, so a different colour card from the same pads. Yeah. And 
it's, this is going to be the outside, so we're going to want to cover these bits up. So what you can either do is, so you can bring in a piece that is long enough and will glue flat. Yeah. If that makes sense. So when you've got your book that way, they will all be glued flat to it. Or you can bring in a piece that's wider, so you can see that it's wider, and if you just like you've seen me do before, I mm. just take it to the edge of the table and give it a nice good curve. So just press it down the side and then we've got the curve. So this one's longer, so these are your two options. When you put this one on and that's flat, you will get that curve. Like I see on that. Some, you know, like yeah. your old books that yeah, you get. Yeah. So it just, it, you have more give in this when you're turning your pages, whereas this one can be more solid and more rigid but with this one it enables you especially if you've got a lot of lot of stuff on each of your pages yeah so if you've got a lot of stuff on each of your pages i would go for that one uh just allows for that extra uh give when you turn in your pages but for this one we're going to go with this so you can either lay your tape on there or lay it on here so i'm just going to fill this up with again my red liner tape because i'm going to glue this flat to this one if i was using this one i wouldn't have red liner tape in the middle i would just have it on the edges so let's go all the way down and then one more in the middle and when you've laid these down make sure you give them a good burnish to make sure that they're stuck so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in, I'm going to come in with my 6mm now just to fill that gap in, in the middle because my 12mm just feels a little bit too thick. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this one on these two edge pieces as well. So, so yeah, so um, it takes a little bit more time to red liner tape everything up. But again, if you're going to be putting that much time and effort into something that you going to gift to someone Absolutely. that's going to have their memories in then you don't actually mind taking that extra um time you know um an effort no it's got i think it's one of those projects which you've got to take the time take the effort and, and make it you know do whatever you want to do but i think you know some of the examples here are stunning because i think it's one of those projects where you can really be a bit selfish and go to town on it. Use whatever you want, the papers, the embellishments, the sentiments. There's so much you can do with it within the sets. We'll take a close look at the sets very, very shortly so you can see what you're actually getting within the sets. There's so much within them though, and I think they're just a great little technique. And you know, there would have been a time where you would have had to sit there and work the measurements out for yourself. And again, Crafters Companion, do it again. They give you all the tools, do they do all the hard work for you so that you can do the fun stuff, which is the decorating and the building like this. Once you've got this out of the way, it is fun. And whatever you need to do, you know, it can get a little bit confusing. Let's not, let's not lie about this. But actually, once you've got it, done it once, that is it. You know the technique and you know the skill. And it's another wonderful little skill that you can add to your repertoire of crafting uh, skills. And I just think it looks stunning already Absolutely. then it's going to be perfect so um just take your time when you're sticking this don't stick your fingers to it like i always do yeah <laughs> so there we go so we've just glued uh, stuck it down on the outside and we're just going to bring these um let me get that side these sides up mm -hmm. if i can get that red oh there we go and then you just Press that down and it's on your side. And then the same with this side. Just find the side that is going to let you pull it up. Just, oh, oh dear. There's always, it's always that one last piece yeah. that you can't quite get. There we go. And then just flatten that, that down on there. It rare, yeah. That was good. There you go. So there you have yeah. your spine. So that's our spine. Um, so that's our first demo. So that's our spine. And then we'll, I'll go on and show you. I'll show you the rest in a minute. But um, George has got some goodies to show I you. I have goodies <laughs> galore. George's goodies is what we're going to call this. It, again, it's a great deal and it's a great price. 
remember, that is for the spine. That is just the spine, and that is what you'll see now. So I'm going to show you the wonderful different sizes. We're starting, first of all, with a six inch. Now, a six inch, this is just for the album spine, okay? So you've just seen our wonderful Michelle use that there. You saw it, so this is the smaller version. What I love Michelle's done is cut out, so what you're paying for here is the spine itself, okay? Then, you've, once you've concertinaed it, big word for me. Once you've concertinaed <laughs> it, you're going to be able to get the wonderful effect, the spine base that you've just seen Michelle have. Plus, within the six inch, you're getting two little bonuses there. You're getting these wonderful uh, sentiments. Family and album, both on dies. I mean, they're not even, you're going to use those so much at times. £17.49, $27.96, a saving of 30 uh, percent. Now, as well, if you're buying the spine, you're going to want to add in the tab pages and the purse card dimensionals. There's 11 elements within this. I mean, there is so much within this. These are going to be great within any album. If you're using the 10 inch, the smaller stuff is going to look perfect within that. But if you're making cards, again, imagine adding this within a card. You've got the wonderful little buttons. How many times could you use these within your cards? You've also got these little fancy pieces here, the keys, and all these little extras that you see. Plus, the wonderful little cut down and something to create like this. You can put that within that envelope. That is there, £20.99, $27.96, saving 30%. Remember, if you're buying the six inch album spine, you're gonna wanna buy the sentiments as well and the tabbed pages edges. Then we're gonna move it up a size. We're going big, we're going eight inches. Again, the eight inch album spine. Again, it comes with the die. You're buying the die. This is what you see here. What our wonderful Michelle's has been using. And then this is the final project. Once you've constantined it up, you're going to make something what you've just seen there. Then you're going to want to add the edible uh, desiccated edges. There's four different elements within here, different sizes. Your paper is going to look so much more fancy, so much better within this because what you're getting here are the four different elements. The wonderful little cloudy effect. What is, I don't know if it's got a proper name. Uh, the, 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 Scope, oh, look at this. He's on it all, isn't he? Hey, today, uh, they're here within the eight inches. That's six pounds 99, nine dollars or six cents, saving yourself 30%. Again, you want to knock it up a size, you're going to go for the 10 inch as well. It's again even bigger. You've seen it before in the eight inch, it's the same principle. Again, once you've got the hang of this, you see where you're going with it. You're getting the die, it allows you to create this once you've constantinated, and then add it into your basket because you're going to want it. It's the edges as well. It's brilliant. It's the page edges for 10 inch, four different elements, £6.99, $9.06, saving yourself 30%. But I really do think it's worth it if you're buying one of the eight or the 10 inches that you add in there, the six inch, six inch bundles, which we showed you right at the start, because you're going to want the little sets that are going in. You're going to want all this little bit that comes within it, the tab pages and purse cards. You want to add that into your basket because it's going to allow you to create some amazing things. Remember guys, all the prices and the stocks are correct at the time of recording. This is a pre-recorded show. Head to the website to see more details and check out our winter sale. So, we've created our spine. What are we going to do next, Michelle? Right. So, we've created our, our lovely spine, and it, they can be quite a little bit stiff to start with. So, just give them all um, just a little play with, you know, just folding them back and forth, just so you've got that, that give with them. Um, but that's what we've got for the minute. So, what I've done is I've brought some of that beautiful retro rainbow um, card padding. And Love again, that. this is a 300 GSM. Um, so this is going to be, it is gorgeous, isn't it, this? And is that the, be and is that the best thickness of card to use a 300 GSM for this? I, yes, I would use a 300 yeah. GSM for sure. So decide which um, piece you want on the outside and which you want on the inside. And then all we're going to do is, so up to that first score line here mm -hmm. is where we're going to just glue that in. And for this, you can use red liner tape or you can use... Um, your wet glue, entirely up to you for this piece, because um, it's pearlescent, so I would use your tacky glue. I would definitely not use um, your um, Kalal, yeah. your all-purpose, because that's just... Sorry, I can't seem to get... There we go. <laughs> that's it. That is the hardest bit. It works, that would be my million-pound idea, the yeah. finding the end of the tape machine. <laughs> I mean, there is a tape dispenser. However... <laughs> <laughs> when well, you haven't got a tape dispenser, <laughs> what you need is an end of the tape machine. Well, that's our red liner tape, recommended for using construction <laughs> within card. It's there on the bottom of the screen, 6mm, £2.79, $5.95. Remember, there's a 3mm and the 12mm available as well. So then you're going to go around with a bit of glue around the so, edge just yes. to secure it. I'm going around with glue there, because yeah. I'm not going to get my red liner tape around yeah. there. 
Um, I'm not even going to attempt it, especially not on air. <laughs> so I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to take it off just to there and I'm going to fold that piece back. Right, okay. Because when I put this on, I don't want... If I put it on wonky, my red liner tape's grabbed and I've, um, I've lost it. Because it is so strong. It is so yeah. strong. So I'm just going to line it up at the bottom there away from the bit that I've taken off and then I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to flip it over because it's grabbed there now yeah and before my wait let's just get my tweezers so before my wet tape uh, wet glue grabs perfectly I'm just going to get my tweezers in there pull the rest of that off and stick it down and I should have a nice straight front of my perfect so i'm just going to hold that down to let that wet glue grab and then that i'm going to go that is my favorite paper it's I, just, it just does it it does all the work the retro paper it does nothing you don't need to do anything else i mean that is i, I know it sounds a ple and people go what craft it's like <laughs> fashionable crafting sometimes do you know what i mean by fashionable yes, crafting it's, it's, it's like on trend on it's trend, in fashion yes. and sometimes i think people have this perception of crafters and crafting that the items that we have are a bit old school and a bit but i think we've really this year more than ever the designs that we have come up with well our in-house design team yes. have been phenomenal and really pushing it out i mean they're right if you bought if you gave this card so if you use that paper on the card or anything they're gonna question where you got it. they're not gonna believe that you made it because no. i i would not believe that a crafting <laughs> company would make something which is i love it i just adore it yes oh definitely and i think i think especially since lockdown yeah um craft companies especially us i think we've upped our games because we've wanted to be able to be there for our crafters yep. help them out and um so definitely our games have been upped but some of the stuff that we have brought out has just been amazing mm -hmm. really has so again you saw me just fold yeah. that little piece over because i want it to make sure that i'm going to get it level so just give that a burnish with your um, bone folder, your scarring tool, whichever it is that you've, or you just your fingers, give it a nice burnish. And then, so that's your album. You can that's see it already happening, outside. can't you? Yeah. So what we're going to do is um, we'll just put that to the side because I'm going to bring these in. I'll, let me lay that flat. So these, I've got the decadent edges with them uh, wibbly wobbly edges in. <laughs> <laughs> wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. And that's the eight inch tomorrow or 10 inch? Yeah, so these are the eight inch eight ones. Inch. So. <laughs> I've got new teeth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've cut a piece of, um, a couple of pieces of card and yeah. they're eight by eight. So they're gonna fit onto my Thing, uh, my thingies, my thingy my bobs. Yeah, they're all fine. Everyone loves a thingy my bobby. <laughs> Perfectly. So I'm just going to decide which one I want to use. So I think I'm going to go for this scalloped one. So I'm going to bring my plate in. And again, because of the size of the card I'm using, it's not going to go through my smaller one. I just really fancy scallops for my tea now. And now you said that. I was like, <laughs> scallop. Oh, I might have scallops for tea. Oh, from I'm like that all the time when I we love mention scallops. a word. Yeah. Yeah, not of our case. Producer is going, well, hang on a minute, what do you mean? So in the north, you have breakfast, dinner, and tea. And then if you're down south, you have breakfast, lunch, and tea and dinner. No, not, not tea is not just something we drink. I mean, there no. is tea. You can have <laughs> afternoon tea. I mean, it's an education. Producer, it's an education. I mean, I don't envy you moving here from the States yeah. to the UK, and especially to the north of the UK, yeah. where the language, especially in Newcastle, why are you man it's like all up and down all the time like so um yeah and then there's a wonderful adam who's from liverpool his accent is and i could just see sometimes Aaron looking at adam going i don't get it what is he talking about but she's so polite and would never say that to him she just she just looks at him like with this confused look that's it ah oh, she's gonna kill me after uh half an hour left on this so we've got our uh, scallops as i'm gonna call them now our scallops i love that so i'm just gonna Cut out another one, but the first one is cut out beautifully. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Such a beautiful edge. So we're going to cut out um, our second one because this is both these pieces are going to go together to make 
um, one page on our spine. I'll show yeah. you how to uh, bob it on and uh, glue it on and do all what you need to do. So, just running this second piece um, through my machine. And that is the Gemini, original Gemini. This is yeah, the, the original Gemini. Lovely. So, because uh, these are big, they won't go... Um, they, actually, they will go through your smaller one if you're doing more of a slim line. Um, because you'd have it the other way around. So if you do more of a slimline album, but yeah. on this big page, it won't go through. So let's just move our plates to the side and then remove this. And again, careful removing that because our Gemini makes our low tack tape, high tack tape. <laughs> yes, it does. It does, just the pure pressure. So that's our two pieces. And we're going to put those in here so i've put those together like that but what i'm going to do is so before i'm going to glue this onto my spine i'm going to use i'm going to use it as a pocket so i'm going to mm -hmm. decide which piece i don't want to glue together so i either want to be able to use this side as a pocket or the top bit as a pocket yep so i think I'm going to use the outside as a pocket. Lovely. So I'm going to glue the top, the bottom, and this is going to glue onto each side of this. Yep. So, what we've got is, there's two, and again, you've got options. You can glue these together at the top and bottom. Yep. Just open it up and slot it over your spine. Or you can glue one on and then the other on and glue them together. So we're going to do it that way because I find, if you're a beginner especially, I find it easier for you to do it that way. So we're going to our six mil red liner tape and I'm going to put it onto here. And we'll just cut that off. In that goes. The road that red liner tape dual side tape six millimeter is available on the website. Head there, craftiscompany.com. .co.uk.eu. Remember, all the prices and stocks are correct at the time of recording. I always find when you're making memory books like this, it's always a good idea to have your three, your six, and your nine mil um, yeah. red liner tapes because um, there's so many different elements that you're going to be bobbing in and out of this. Look how beautiful that looks. How nice and cleanly finished. Yes, yeah, so there's so many elements that you're going to be putting in and on this you will find yourself using all your different um, yeah, all your different thicknesses, I can't think of the word then, of your red liner tape, definitely. So we're going to put that across the bottom and cut that off. And remember, so I'm using, this is going to be my pocket, so I'm not going to glue that shut. Try and remember because many a times I'm like, why can't I get into that pocket? Yeah, and it's because I've glued it shut. <laughs> so it <was> zips. <laughs> yes. So on this side, I'm just so I'm going to attach the red liner tape to uh, this piece here, and just cut that off. So make sure that they're nice and firmly pressed down. And I'm gonna take that off. Now for this piece, don't line it up there. If you've lined this one up perfectly, then when you get your edges together, it should make sure that your lines at the top and bottom match. So if you get those correct, it should line up perfectly on the inside. So there we go. So now you can see that I've got those two pieces there. So when I peel this red liner away here, it's just going to glue together perfectly. And then the same again for the top piece. Just, there we go. So that is our first page. And as you can see, it's all come together beautifully. And because I'm using lots of thick, so I've got three layers of 300 GSM there. So I've got a nice 900 GSM bit at the, um, the front with the spine. So for one, that's brilliant. And for two, um, you know, it, it, makes it, um, it makes it quite stiff. So you just need to keep giving them little wiggles just to make sure that you've still got all that movement in there. Yep. So that's our first page. So let me just get rid of my rubbish. 
And then we're going to bring, so we're going to bring this in. So this is our tabbed page and purse um, card. That beautiful little set yes. there, isn't it? So this oh, is, let me just, let's get in it first. Now remember, this is smaller. It is designed for the six inch, but actually, if you're going to be making a scrapbook and, you're, and you want to create all these little sentiments with the little envelopes and the little pockets and, and small little things, then this is what you need in your, in your life because I think it's so good. And the buttons and everything that you see there, I mean, you're going to use this, not just in scrapbooking, but I think in general crafting alone. At that price, yes. you're saving yourself 30%, which is, I just think, phenomenal. This, it's such a great little set. Oh, it, it absolutely is. And, and, and you've got to think, so you've got all these buttons and these keys in there. Um, cut them out two or three times, glue them together, and then um, use our watermark ink pad over the top. Yeah. Um, some either clear embossing powder or coloured embossing powder and emboss them over and you're going to have a nice resin looking shiny buttons yeah. for all your your pages and things so don't feel you just have to cut them out of um, of your card you know that you make them look like real buttons in the end so I've just brought my masquerade padding which goes beautifully with this um, these paper pads that I'm using so I'm just going to pick a piece out of it I love the masquerade ball paper. Oh. It's it's stunning. It's a twelve by twelve paper pad. There's twenty four sheets within it. Today price at fourteen ninety nine. <coughs> Excuse me, sixteen dollars ninety five. What GSM is that, Michelle? So on the paper pad, it's a hundred and eighty GSM. Yep. Um, so which is a, a lovely, beautiful weight for this paper. And worth getting multiple pads, I think. Of oh, this absolutely. Paper. It's gonna. There's gonna be a point, guys. It runs out, and you'll be like. In a few years' time, what paper pad is that that uh, our wonderful crafter is using there? And I'm like, that was the masquerade ball. Do you remember it? Do you remember when he loved it? It's all gone now. <laughs> don't be that person. Do not miss out on the masquerade ball. No, don't be that person. Masquerade. <laughs> so I'm just going to tape these because I don't want them to... If I'm putting more than one die on, I do tend to tape them so mm. they don't move and overlap each other and then you're going to end up um, damaging your die. So again, normal plate combination, just going to run this through my Gemini. Yeah. But these are small enough that they'll go through your junior and your midi. I mean, some of these, um, maybe most, most of these will go through your mini. Um, but again, depending on what, what you're doing. Perfect. Right. I mean, it's, you've got to do what's right for you with this, haven't you? And, and it's all about playing and having a little go with it. We say this time and time again, you ain't going to get it right first time. If you do, you're a genius. Yes. Uh, but you ain't <laughs> going to get this right first time. It's so important to have a little play with it. Have some fun with it because you don't want it to, you know, if you're using your best paper, you use the masquerade sheet straight away you then, and it goes wrong, well, then you've wasted one of your beautiful sheets of paper. Yes, and you don't want that. No, of course not. So I'm just running this through again because um, I had my edge piece hanging off so it yeah. hasn't cut all the way through so i'll pay a little bit more attention this time and <laughs> we won't hold it, it against through. you no That's but right. the, the thing is it happens yeah. and you know it happens to us all and it's nice for you to see that it happens to us as well so um yeah straight if, through. if you want to know what um what not to do watch one of my shows <laughs> <laughs> now that's very harsh on you yeah no i think i think we definitely Oh, see, now, now I know, actually, why it hasn't, because it hasn't got that top cutting edge. So this is the piece for the purse. Ah, of so, course. So, see, pay even more attention than me, <laughs> you know more what you're doing. So I'm just going to oh, scissors, snip this off just there for a minute so I can move my um, bits. Because what I'm going to do with this is, um, so I'm going to cut that all the way down. Because what I'm going to do is just use it slightly different to yeah. probably the ways that you've been using it. So that's my little purse at the bottom, or my little, um, yeah, it's like a little purse, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Tabbed page and purse, yeah, tabbed page and purse card. So I'm going to, so that's going to go over there. But what I'm going to do with this is, so I'm going to bring in my... Um, guillotine and I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces um, an inch wide each 
So two of those under there. Get that nice and straight. Hold it down and then take those two off. So move that to the side. So let's just get rid of some of this rubbish. And then I'm going to bring my scarboard in because what I want to do is... Oh! I'm just, just smashing the, the studio up, don't mind me. <laughs> Everything was just bar balanced so precariously that, um, yeah, I knew if Michelle went near it, it would... Um, <laughs> It's fucking. It, it, I was just looking at something, and then I ju I jumped. I nearly said a naughty word, is what I said, <laughs> and I didn't. I'm very proud of me. I didn't, didn't say. I'm very good. good. I'm here for another year. That's great. <laughs> uh, I love that. I love getting good already. So, just folding those in half, and then I'm going to take this because this is beautiful. We're going to run this through on this side. Yeah, so this is that beautiful... I love that. Um, ...little decorative element mm -hmm. on there. Um, yeah, I think like a little bit of filigree or something like that. A little comes bit within that six-inch set. It's a great set within yeah. this set, the tab, tab page and purse, card dimensional. And what an incredible price as well. Let's just look at the price oh, I here. I know. That's, I keep looking at it. I keep thinking, that's just crazy. But we like crazy prices here at Crafters TV. We do, we do indeed. Remember, this show is pre recorded and all the prices that you see are correct at the time of recording. Uh, guys, if you want to find out more information, head to the website crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu and you can also head to our winter sale. Ooh, wrap up warm. <laughs> it might be cold. Uh, for our great deals and uh, selection on the website. So I've just got a couple of, of little pieces here. And then I'm just going to cut that down to the same size. So put that one with that one. Cut that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, oh, should that be my front piece? That should be my front piece, definitely. That's, that's beautiful, that. Yeah, so we'll go with <laughs> So we'll turn it over. That was very good. Well, <laughs> you planned that through, didn't you, Michelle? I really did. I Absolutely. did that really well. So for this, because it's just my paper, I'm going to go in just with my tape pen and we're going to just glue that there and then on this side as well. I think what's becoming clear is how much fun you can have with this oh. and how many endless possibilities you've got with there this scrapbooking really set. There really is. There's just, your mind can go mental creating something because it's just perfect. It's, it's going to allow you to indulge, it allows you to be a bit selfish I think sometimes. It really crafting. does. It really does. So what we're going to do is um, quickly, we're going to, so I haven't used this in the traditional way, but have a look at your stuff. See the different ways that you can use um, all your stuff to make, yeah, to make pockets, tabs, be creative. And I just, I did it again, didn't I? Erin spoke to me and I answered and you're all thinking, who's she talking to? It's like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Erin is a voice in our heads. She is. She's always there. She's the, the loveliest voice in our head, though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear her, I mean, do you do podcasts? I imagine Erin did a great podcast. It'd be a great podcast yeah. host. It'd be a good, it'd be like so. the, life of, the life of you via Erin's <laughs> eyes. Oh. <laughs> it sounds fun. It does sound fun. Erin's going terrible. Awful idea. Hate it. <laughs> So I've, I've just snipped my edges yep. just because I want to slide that into there Ooh. and I want it to fit. And then, oh, you, well, let's get it straight. So press that down. And then if I had a little bit more time. <gasps> but, so, no, that's, that's it. gorgeous. So I would maybe. <laughs> so Erin's talking to me again. What's she saying um, now? So she said, it looks like what, sorry? Yes, so it does. It looks like I've used a lot of my masquerade ball, but I haven't. So I'm going to glue that on in a second. But see, so you've literally, you've got a nice little purse there. And those um, sides that I put on enable it to just open a lot, up yeah. a little bit. 
and for you to put stuff on. So that's literally one of your pages. So simple. So a great collection. Remember, it's £20.99. It's $27.96. You're saving yourself 30%. If you're buying the 8-inch eight bind, eight inch binder or the 10-inch binder, you're spying. You want to be buying the 6-inch accessories, not accessories, the tab pages and purse, because what you're getting within that is everything you've just seen Michelle use. There's even more to use it as well, because you may want to make something a little bit different. You maybe want to make the ultimate organiser. This is the, in fact, let me show you one first because it's a great idea. This, you know, this is something that you can be making, the birthday list for starters. There's so much within it. Look at this. It's just beautiful. You see what you're getting there, that wonderful, like, little Percy kind of thing. Ribbons. You've got gems on there. You've got stamps. You've got... Now, you don't get the ribbons and stamps, of course. You can use that in your own uh, crafty collection. But remember, there's so much within it. Birthday lists, calendars. You can make little notes that you remember what you're doing within your weeks. There's also little notepads at the back which you can create within your stamps. Calendars, cards, all there. And then you can make this every single time with these brilliant collections. Again, you've got the notes ones added here with ribbon and the great pens and pen inks. It's so good. There's so much within here. And if you open it out, you can see there what you're actually getting within this collection. Let's take a closer look at the different sets that we've got. We're starting here, first of all, with the Ultimate Organizer Dimensional Die. There's 13 different elements within this set here. Again, you can see little tab ends, the kind of little things that you're getting within your look at everything you're set here. Mention these within your cards, within your albums, within your scrapbooking. This is something that you can be making. You've also got the other papers that you've got. So what you can do with this is use two of these dies together. You've got your little uh, ends here, attaching this to one of these pieces of paper, and you've already got a little folder without any effort at all. Plus, you've also got the uh, set there to create the wonderful uh, base which holds everything in. That's for £17.49, $19.97. Then there's also the great little sets. Now, uh, we haven't got a board here to show you the make a list, and I've got it here in German. Ein glücklicher Weihnachten to all our German viewers. Oh, yeah, George just pulled out the German speaking. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, ah, glücklicher Weihnachten. Uh, yeah, that, that's happy. This is German, yes, it's all in German here. Uh, we've got, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at it now, we've got für die Schule, which means for school. We've got uh, Zuntrag. We've got, I don't want to go through it. I don't want to confuse you, right? <laughs> I'm just going to say, if you order this online, you won't be getting the German one. You will be getting the uh, correct language, whichever country you are in. So do not worry. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, just put you this. What is it? It's all in German. Yeah, great. It's uh, educational as well as crafting. Uh, that is priced at £7.49. Uh, then we've also got the polymer stamps. Again, great, great list. Now, this is so clever. What you've got here are all the months of the... They're like the set, what I call it, the like the ultimate set, all in English. I mean, I can translate it for you. Uh, January through to December, you've got the days of the weeks. You've got the different holidays, holiday, Christmas, cards, journal, work, meetings, things that you're going to use. This wonderful little calendar at the bottom here. And I, what are these called? The, like the first, second, autonals, very good. Ordinals. Ooh, I'm learning this way. Education. So you can make the first, the second, the third, and the fourths. Then that's priced there at £7.49, $9.97. Half price on that saving, guys. Then you've also got this, the wonderful months and days occasions. Again, no, nope, this is the month. There we are. Is that the one? That's the one. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's all right. It's Christmas, guys. Let me off. All right. Uh, it's 25 piece polymer stamp, the calendar selection. Again, all different days of the weeks, the months, the notes, allowing you to create something brilliant. Price at £7.49 and $9.97. And then we are going for the memos. I, knew I'm, I know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm not an amateur. Uh, you can judge for yourselves. There you've got it again with the arrows, all the different days, the months, everything there. Again, £7.49, $9.97, a half price saving. Wow. Guys, so much within this show today. A brilliant collection. And also, we've got the wonderful, come on, take a look and do the Broadway bag. Yes, it's the Broadway bag, eight-piece time pension. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me. Uh, £13.99, $17.49. It allows you to make a bag. Yeah, that's right, you heard me right. On this deal today, you're saving yourself 30%. It's a great collection, and it's stunning. I'll tell you what. Shall we have a look at how we can use this? Not just as a bag, but in other ways. Michelle, what a brilliant little die this is. Oh, it is. I love my boxes, my bags, my bags and my bags. Um, yep. My bags in my craft, my bags in my real life. You can't be a good bag. And this is a beautiful bag. But we're not going to make a bag with this. So, Broadway bag. I've taken my 
size out and this is the so this is the main piece that obviously you can see this will fold over and make the gusset of your bag but that's not what we're going to use that for so again I've just brought in some well I see I've seen two pieces now and I'm, not, I'm pretty much sure I'm not use sure them both. so yeah I think we'll use them both so yes. I'm going to use this for the base so this is going to be for the main bit so again I'm going to bring my plate in and place that on there and again I'm going to tape it just so I know that it goes through first time in place. So again, I'm gonna put that through my machine, just move all my mess out of the way, <laughs> just making myself at home. Yes, that's <laughs> all right. Are you a messy crafter? Oh, terribly. Are you? It's terribly. I literally, I'll sit down and I put something down and then it like, poof, it's gone. And it was just there and then it ends up being stuck Magic. to someone else. It's magic, mate. That's <laughs> it, what it is, is magic. It's the magic of crafting. <laughs> the magic of crafting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my main piece for now. So I'm just going to put that there because what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring in these. I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful alone, aren't they? They look. You yes. know already the detail you're going to get out of this is yes. just phenomenal. Definitely, definitely. So I think we're just going to I'll cut that piece down. And again, the fun of making these is, is deciding and picking which pieces of paper and card you're going to use. And it is important as well. Look, I mean, you just did there, you just cut that card and what you've just cut off is like, could be used for another piece of card. Oh, absolutely. Card. You've got to be, sometimes you've got to be thinking about how you're going to do this to get the best out of your uh, paper stash that you've oh, got. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it goes a long way. I mean, you think you're making a memory book or a, an album or whatever you know you want to call it, and you think you're going to be using loads and loads, but really, um, I don't think you use as much as you think. Mm. And plus, it, it's worth it. Yeah. When you see that end result, and especially when you give it to whoever you're making it for, um, just the look on their faces when they're going through all those pages and they've got all the little flips and flaps that you open up, um, all these elements that pop out and fold out, it's just, it's magical. Yeah. It really is. So, let's have a look. Oh, look, see, look how beautiful. It's so, that one pass through and it's yeah, done it. Yeah, they just see, look at that. Everything's just popped out. Oh, that is pretty. So Love beautiful. that. One pass so is all it takes. There. <laughs> through our Gemini. I think he's better run for his money here with his songs one day. I think so. Such a good... Definitely. I, challenge accepted. <laughs> Although I don't know, Ben's Copacabana that he did. He was very good with that. I met his dog yesterday. Did you? Yeah, Mac. Oh. Mac the dog. Look. Not Mac the knife. Mac the Mac dog. Mac the knife. <laughs> oh, the da, da. Oh, he's cute. He just scratches him in the right little way and his head goes to one side and goes... Arr. Oh. And then Ben does the voice for the dog. Ask about the voice <laughs> for the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna. He's got a voice for everyone. I mean, hate uh, what he says about me behind my back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not long left on this show. I mean, I can't believe where the time has gone on this one. It's been a it brilliant show. We've flat. had some great... I've been here for three days now for Christmas. Uh, and I've loved every second of it. I've learned so much as well. And it's sometimes great to go back to basics. Yes. To, to look at where we are with our crafting. It is, yeah. I think sometimes we can get... Um, so caught up in doing something different and advanced and um, sort of out of the box. Mm. I think we forget um, to just go back to the basics, learn how to do it nice and easily to start with, and then you can go on to the advanced bits. Yeah. Uh, and then I think we also forget that some of you won't have done this before. So to see me doing this now, um, it's taken the, um, the scariness, for want of a better mm. word, out of... Of yeah. just making your spine to start with. Because that can be a bit of a, a fiddly little thing. So there we go. So that's my rose. So that's been um, nice and embossed with that. So let's just move those to the side. So either with your guillotine or your scissor, scissors, um, just cut that base away. So, no, so I'm, I'm taking that off because I'm not going to use this to make a bag in the traditional sense that it's been given us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. 
Oh, we love a dotty tape pen. Oh, absolutely. Now, if people haven't used dotty tape pen, what makes a dotty tape pen so special? So what makes a dotty tape pen so special is it's, it's dispensing dots. Mm -hmm. So the dots, as you go in across, will only stick to the bits of card or paper that you're putting it on. And then all those spaces in between, your dots will either stick to the mat underneath, or if mm -hmm. you're using a bit of card, but you won't get all that sticky bit in the middle. Yeah, glue, str I normally say snot strings, but... Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have any Christmas <laughs> left up, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, that, so, that, so yeah, so you won't see, so you can see there's no glue strings in there <laughs> at all. <laughs> My stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Yorkshire lass, I'm sorry. I know, I mean, I'm from Yorkshire, but where else in Yorkshire are you from? Um, West Yorkshire. Oh, that explains it, that's why. Yeah, we're a bit more common in yeah, West Yorkshire. I'm south, or <laughs> posh bit. <laughs> Just under five minutes <laughs> left of this show, it's, I, do, I can't believe the time has gone. So yeah, this is a wonderful uh, Broadway bag. Now, if you're looking at this and going, well, I want to make a bag with it, check to YouTube or Facebook, type it in to uh, the search, create your own little playlist, and you can see our wonderful crafters using these dies and making a wonderful bag out of this. It is beautiful and it is a great little die um, and can be made so good so perfect i love it yeah so again i mean i've, I've got my bag die i'm not using it to make a bag um, so don't think oh well you know i've got a bag die all i can make is bags with it you can you can absolutely adapt um, <coughs> excuse me sorry you yeah bless you Thank i you. couldn't think of the word i'm going to say you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome for the sneeze <laughs> So yeah, so look at, especially for memory books, you can definitely adapt all of our stuff to um, make things for, for memory books. You really can. Uh, it's nice to have lots of different elements in there. So again, um, you could concertina the sides so they would um, lift up with some card. So I'll, I'll just quickly, quickly show you what I mean. I'll just cut a slice of this. So to concertina it, lovely. So we would do it, so four folds. So one, two, three, four. So three folds to give you four sides. So I've got like a little M shape. Mm -hmm. So if you glue your bottom piece to your card, your top piece to that, yeah. Um, when you can open it up and it will concertina. Ah, so, nice. Sort of like the gusset of a bag. Yeah. So once you've got them, so I don't have time to do that, but actually um, what I was going to do is I am just going to, I'm just going to glue the bottom on because my, I am just so far up because all I was going to do with mine is, so on my second page, I'm going to have that as a nice flat one, because mine was going to be quite of a, a flat memory book. Mm. And then all I would have done, I would have made um, a tag big enough to go in with a, a picture on. So Perfect. when you pull it out, you've got a beautiful picture or, or a message or yeah. anything like that. So yeah, so that's um, a nice different way to use your, um, your bag die to make your album and then what I would do is I would um, I'd get a nice big piece of ribbon and I would use that as an enclosure for this one but again don't forget that I've um, I've left this so you can oh, nice. put nice big so yeah, you're going to yeah. get a nice big photo or uh, element in there so, so and I've got all this extra room mm. and you can put two of these together just cut um, so just cut that piece off oh, there course. that lovely pattern piece yeah. put two together um, and then use this bigger to make a, a nice bigger. So there's the potential. Oh, I need another hour or three or four yeah. to show you all the different things that we can do with these memory books and all our different dies. But so yeah, so that's um, that's the nice, the basics of your wonderful, wonderful collection of these memory dies and things. So.
absolutely it's a great collection guys scrapbooking we've only scratched the surface of scrapbooking there's so much more to do it and like we keep saying if you're wanting to do this you want to buy the dies and have a play with it do what you got to do with them because you're gonna have so much fun and discover your own ways what a brilliant show this has been michelle thank you for everything oh uh, thank you it's thank been i've loved working with you it's been fun oh bless you love to say the same no of course i've loved working <laughs> with you i'm only messing with you i'm only messing of course i have uh, guys remember we are got well, every day we've got more wonderful shows throughout uh, tomorrow for you so make sure you join again tomorrow i will see you in the new year so i hope you have a wonderful new year wherever you are in the world uh, guys remember check out those baskets remember head to the website crafters companion <laughs> uh, crafters companion.com .co.uk.eu and check out the full range of everything remember this is a pre-recorded show and everything is correct at the time of recording check out the winter sale i will see you in 2022 that is scary goodbye for now goodbye everybody